Yanin is an extraterrestrial being who incarnates into the body of Imam Isa to pass on information to you. He is one of the eldest, the 19th. He resides in the 8th galaxy of the 19 galaxies. And they do travel by ships, as you would call them for lack of a better word. And they've been intergalactically traveling and coming to this planet since 11,500 years ago. And Yanun is one of the masters that's been assigned to awake you people up. Because you people are a portion of ancient uh, births of the Jabariyans, as you probably don't even know what that means, right? And some of you must be woken up. And so masters would come. The master that you saw was called Rama. If you would have gotten a closer look at him, he comes from 4,000 years before Jesus. If you would have got a closer look at him, you would have saw that he had white hair and red eyes. He's a caramel complexion, fairly thin, and his name is Rama. He visits this planet many times. He lives in Shambhala. I don't care how crazy it sounds to you, one day you'll find out it's true anyway. That in the center of your planet, there is another world in the center. There's subterranean pathways to different chambers in the center of your planet. The pyramids are entrances there, and so are the pyramids out in South America and the Nairobi Desert, and out at the Antarctic is the entrance in. And Yadin is one of the masters of the school of the bird. They call him the feathered bird. This is why in South America, when they, when they look over the sky and they see this image of this bird on the ground, that is his school. So certain arriving masters to this plane knew what school they would go to. Each galactical, what do you call it, body had their own school on this planet. Muslims uh, don't realize that throughout the Holy Quran, when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is speaking about angelic beings coming to earth, you have interred them because of Christianity in the 18th century into little white babies with wings when you're talking about celestial and terrestrial beings or extraterrestrial beings who have been visiting y'all for a long period of time. Because some of you are the sons and daughters of extraterrestrials who came here and you have to be brought back to power to defend this planet against the destruction by Azazel and what they refer to as Lucifer and the other 200 fallen angels which were again extraterrestrial beings who invaded this planet 6,000 or 5,000 some odd years ago and have been ruling and have caused the masses to either hover or to go into the subterranean parts of the planet and they just come up to either ascend to the earth to teach man or they will make intergalactical communications leave and come back. And this is what Elijah saw. This is what Jesus said when he said he was caught up in a whirlwind in the cloud and went up. The whirlwind in the cloud is the ship itself. Elijah was taken up in a chariot and Enoch was translated into heaven by his chariot. It's throughout the scriptures and three men visited Abraham at his tent and then one went up and the other two went on down into Sodom to try to talk Lot and his family into coming out. You know, these, these stories that you have interpreted in the scriptures strictly as religious dogma because of the translation by the Christian churches, etc., who had no knowledge of extraterrestrial, they have turned the spiritual, the, the spiritual community of beings who have existed in other galaxies into gods or into angels and gave them a bunch of names that didn't apply to them. And so you just happen to talk, mention one who is a very powerful Yanun, his name is. They say Yanin, it's also it's pronounced Yanun, depending on the dialect of what galaxy you're in, the pronunciation changes. And, and the one you described was another one called Rama, who's asking you about Yanin because Yanin is assigned to give you all answers about the things that you need to know in this time and the time that you've come from to be able to distinguish the 144,000 who would be 
those extraterrestrial beings prepare them to create that whirlwind and make that ascension out of this state, which they call the rapture, rising up from the earth while it goes through its turmoil with the lamb, as they refer to him, which is merely a symbol of a humble being from an extraterrestrial. And why the Quran says, we sent you down to earth. <laughs> they keep missing it says when there's a turmoil in the garden in heaven that we cast you down to earth in the Quran. From where? The angels come down from where? From floating around in the sky. No, they sent you down to Arbo, which is Earth, the blue planet. They sent you here from other galaxies. When you violated the law intergalactical law, you was cast down here like prisoners. You all are, are, are wayward, as you would call it. I don't know a better word for it. That you all are in, signed to a prison. Earth is a prison that you all are in. And you are people who rebel, who would listen to Satan, as you call him, which was Azazila then, or Tanush. You listen to him. You follow, and you've been assigned to Earth until you overcome that. Until you turn and give your total reverence to Hua, Allah, Alavi, La ilaha illa Hua. But you incorporate in that, even that when you say Hua, you have to say God, Allah, God, God, Allah. You keep interjecting. You personify him and say he was Master Farad Muhammad or he was Yahweh Ben Yahweh. You always have to do something rather than to just serve the omnipotent form of the Hua. Or way is inside you, the essence of life. So now you've been assigned to this prison, which is called Artu, the Blue Rock Earth, until you, which they say, are born again. And born again of what they say? Of the body or the spirit? Of the spirit. Y'all must be born again of the spirit. You must be transformed from being this mortal being who is destined to die back to immortality. You follow? You must become a supreme being again in order to be worthy of intergalactical traveling again. So now what has happened, the devil's seed is in the earth, mixing in with the God seed as you'd have it, and is keeping you all bound to the planet and creating new dogmas every day, new deviations from the fundamental truth and calling it religion and sex and all different types of Islamic, Sunni, Shia, Ahmadiyya, Bilalian, Black, Muslim, Hindu, Buddhist, and just creating new dogmas to keep you from seeing the state of the Surat al Muslim, as they call it, the Surat al Muslim, the straight way of those who made the pathway through the galaxies. The Surat al when they say the Quran, and they know Surat al Muslim, Surat al Ladina, and Amba Alayhim, Rayyim Mahdubi Alayhim, Walaf Dalim, they're telling you. I want to be guided and they don't do all things for I want to be guided for that way. I want to get back out of here. Surat the Ravina and Amta Alayhim. You know what I mean? That Surat of those who you are giving your grace, Allah Ta'ala. I don't want to be like those people who got the everlasting curse who damned to this earth forever. Well, that's all in. For those who deviated off that path that was leading from Malakut to Nessus and went somewhere else. Or as they translated in modern times, have left the path of Deen al-Islam and went into other denominations of thought. And you deviate from the path of Deen al-Islam when you deviate from the path of Mila Ibrahim. When you deviate from the religion that Allah Ta'ala gave to the Prophet Adam which was the, the, the way you should work your way back to Jannah to Idris, back out of this plane and back into Malakut, the domain of angelic beings from which most of you have come. But some people here have made an everlasting pact with a Zazila, a Zazila or Tanush, this being who ruled in, who tried to overthrow Mikael in Malakut prior to the birth of your planet as a result of that, was cast down. Some mortals have to come to him and begin to worship him in a subtle kind of way. One of his names is God. And they've taken and called the law of God and Jehovah God in, in the Akhra, etc., etc., etc. You follow? 
but you just happen to touch on a very sensitive subject. And you know, uh, I am here to try to bring you all back to that teaching. But I gotta start with what you understand. I gotta start giving you what you think you want, so you'll learn how to think on the level of what I have to give, or what you know you need. But I can't start by pouring out. I've been teaching for 20 years on earth, in and out, visiting in and out of here. Different beings speak to you at different times through me. Different trying to answer all of your questions to prepare you for the real knowledge. The real information that you have to have after you get through wobbling in how great you are and how you got here and how you're Abraham and you're Keto and you're this. When you finish all that ego tripping, then I can get down to teaching you the truth about things and prepare those who are supposed to leave here to prepare so when the ship does come, they can go. You follow?